Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at economy picking uh, as requested. Uh, as the name implies, economy picking is about using the least amount of movement possible, uh, getting the maximum results. It's like economy of motion. You don't want to put too much extraneous movement in there so you can keep control at all times. Obviously this doesn't apply for everything. Uh, if you're at a gig and you want to crash out that big A chord, you really want to give it some beans. You don't want to be standing there. That sucks. You know? um, but on the flip side, if you're doing your lead, you want to be normally nice and controlled and minimal movement. You don't want to be going... What's the rest of this lesson? So, the pattern we're going to look at today to learn about economy picking is a very simple one. It's just up here at the 12th fret. Uh, I suppose you could say it's in E Phrygian if you like, or A minor, um, if you prefer. So, the pattern sounds something like this. <laughs> and simple and the finger itself is very simple we'll start off on the B string with your index finger on the 12th fret your second finger hits the 13th then the little finger on the 15th and on the high E we repeat that index finger on the 12th second finger on the 13th and little finger on the 15th now obviously for the pattern we're actually hitting this note twice. So we get something like this. Okay, now you could alternate pick that exactly using strict alternate picking. a lot of extra movement there that you don't really need and this is where economy picking comes in where you try and keep your pick moving in the direction that you're heading so if we're going up towards the high E we would use a downstroke coming from that D note so we would pick down up down same goes when we're returning. So if we play through the rest of the pattern, we would have something like this. I'll uh, shout out the pick direction, by the way. So we have down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. The, the head movements are obviously optional. Uh, one more time. Down, up, down, down. Across the strings, try not to pick the two separate notes. Let you pick, move between them. It's almost like a mini sweep pick in a way. And using this method, I, I suddenly find it far easier to gain speed than if I do if I'm doing strict alternate picking. That just for some reason really fries my brain. But this method feels a lot more natural to me. And you know, if you use a metronome, I'm trying to ensure that you're getting your full effect. Now, obviously, you can expand this exercise uh, all the way across the neck. You could maybe uh, take it straight into the, the A minor and create your own exercise. But always try and be aware of where that plectrum is going. Um, so I could play down the A minor scale and back up, uh, something like... And all I was doing was taking the same idea 
and, and moving it down uh, the A minor scale, although rather you probably rather hit that one than that one. Uh, but just play around with it and um, get used to that feeling of your, your pick moving in, in a continuous movement between strings or across strings rather. <laughs> It may feel alien at first, but you will pick up on it pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is stop this lesson there, because I think we've already gone on for five minutes. Um, in the next part of this, we're going to look at a slightly more complex arrangement and using it across the neck and in different ways. So I hope you check that one out. Thanks for watching.